four variable Carnot map will have 16 min terms and this is the Carnot map for four variables. We have M0, M1, M2, M3 okay and similarly we have the uh, you know the gray code sequence along the row and along the column okay we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Similarly we follow the same gray code sequence here as well. So A, B the first two variables and these are the next two variables. So when we uh, write the min terms you should be a little careful because it is M0, M1, M2 is here and then we get M3. Then M4, M5, M6, M7 and see here we have to jump here to write M8, M9, M10 and M11 and then M12, M13, M14 and M15. 0 to 15 so totally 16 min terms that we have in this Carnot map. This slide shows how we can group the cells together. So when we group these 8 cells together what is the term that we get? When we consider the row only A is remaining constant so it is taking the value of 0 it is A bar. And when you consider the column, it is varying. All the variable values are varying. So all these terms will be cancelled. And this 8 blocks together or 8 cells together, when it is forming a block, we get a A bar. That is what is given here. Okay, I have given the color code to write the expression. And what will be this area? These 8 cells together will get A because A is getting the value 1 and B is varying and C, D is varying. So we get A. Similarly, when you consider the group like this, okay, and here the wrapping can be both vertical and horizontal. So here these four cells are adjacent to these cells. We just folded uh, this edge with this edge and form the adjacency. So I can group these 8 cells together and when we group it like this CD will be completely varying and what is common across this and this only B is common and B is taking the value of 0. So this uh, dark blue block will get the um, value or the expression to be B bar. And the light blue will be B because CD is completely varying and uh, what we get is B with value 1 so it is B. And this one navy blue block it is all AB values are varying. So we consider only the columns. In the column only C is constant and it takes the value 0. So this navy blue block is C bar and this green block will be C because C is getting the value 1 and everything else is changing. So this block is C. And similarly we can fold this map vertically and I can say all these four cells are adjacent to these four cells. And we can group all these 8 cells together and form a block. So when we form it like this, AB is completely varying. And what is remaining constant is this uh, value. So it is that corresponds to the variable D. Since D is taking the value of 0, it corresponds to D bar. And this red block is actually D. Consider this example. Uh, the boolean expression this is a function of four variables and we have four min terms in the expression so it is a bar b bar c bar d so it is 0 0 0 1 okay so it is 0 0 0 1 this one and this is 0 1 0 1 so it is 0 1 0 1 this one and similarly 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 this one and finally 1 1 1 which is this one. Now how can we group this one? 
can we group these three ones together no because the number of cells in the group should count to a power of 2 and 3 is not a power of 2 so i cannot group these three ones together so so i can group these two ones together and these two ones together i need not group these two ones together because the ones are covered and it has to be covered at least in a block that's all okay we need not duplicate the terms so we can form a group by grouping these two ones together and forming these two ones together when we group these two ones together we consider the variables along the row and we see that b is varying here here it is 0 here it is 1 so b will not appear in the product term a is taking the value of 0 so a will appear as a bar and these two uh, variable c and d is same for this column so these two variables will appear as such and we get c bar d because c is getting the value of 0 and d is getting the value of 1 and when we group the other twos and form a block what will be the uh, product term here along the row both the cells take the value 1 1 so this will appear as such so uh, since both the values are 1 1 the product term will have a b and what is along the column what is varying what is varying is c and what remains constant is d and d takes the value 1 and it will appear as d so what is the uh, product term we have a b d so that is the group 2 and final answer will be we have to make the sum of these two products thus we get a bar c bar d plus a b d suppose if i had another one here instead of zero suppose if i had one here that is we have one more term here and we write it like uh, this is a bar b and here it is c d right so it is a bar because a is getting the value 0 here and b is getting the value 1 so we write a bar b and c d will appear as such in this case since these four cells are adjacent to each other we can form a bigger block okay i need not block these two ones together then these two ones together and then these two ones together the size of the block should be as big as possible so i can form a new block by combining these four cells together and then i can reuse this and make this block okay so the final expression will be what when we have these four cells together so this block is already we have this two blocks together we have already written which is uh, a bar c bar d okay which is this term and when we have these four blocks together what will be the expression along the row uh, a is varying b remains to be one so the expression will be b and then along the column uh, c is varying d takes the value 1 so we write the product term to be bd that is this block okay so we should always be looking at a bigger block okay so when we have a block with two cells together the number of literals here is 3 but when we have four blocks together the number of literals in the uh, product term is only 2 that means that we are reducing the number of AND gates okay assume that you have only AND gates with 2 inputs so in that case to compute this product term we will get 2 AND gates to get this product term but here it is enough that we have only 1 AND gate to uh, get this product so always try to make 
the block as big as possible.